everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and on this channel I like to upload videos on motherhood and baby, home renovation and updates and speed cleaning and organisation. So if that's the kind of content you enjoy watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, press the notification bell for future videos and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing a nursery tour slash nursery reveal. I'm going to be showing you everything that we have for Grayland's nursery. I'm going to take you all the way around the room, show you how we decorated it what we used, why I chose certain things and just give you the overall reveal of his nursery. This has been in the making for since before I got pregnant I would say. <laughs> Graylin's now 10 month old and he's finally ready to sleep in his nursery. He is fighting a cold at the moment so I am reluctant to put him in his bedroom until he's done with his cold because I don't want him to be disrupted during his sleep but he is ready to be transitioned into his nursery so yeah i'm going to take you around i'm going to show you everything and i really hope you enjoy how his nursery turned out okay so i'm going to start off as i walk through the door so this is graylin's bedroom door it's not on at the moment because we have just had a carpet put down and we needed to take the door off so the carpet could fit we need to trim the bottom of the door but this is the entrance to his bedroom. As you can see, we've went for a green panelling in the room. We've left the top of the panelling, like above the panelling, white. And then this panelling is in the colour Spring Bud by Crown. I must admit, I'm not fully sure that I like this paint as in the actual paint. The colour itself is absolutely stunning. It's such a common colour without being too boring. But the paint itself, I wasn't too sure if it was the best paint. It took a while to paint the panelling in this room. The carpets are this gorgeous creamy colour. They're from Tappy Carpets. I think this is the Gala carpet. However, I will double check that and link it down below for you all. But we have just had this put down and I absolutely love it. I think it just goes so well with the rest of the room, especially the colour of the green. So we're going to start off directly in front of the doorway. This is just a random little corner which I just thought I would jazz up a little bit. I've done so by putting some frames at the top. We've got a little shelf with a hanging plant and this little tapestry kind of thing. So these frames this one here was a gift from a colleague it did have a little elephant at the top but that came off in transit somewhere which i'm a bit gutted about but it doesn't detract too much from the fact that it's a nice simple little photo frame which we just put one of Graylin's 4d scans in i absolutely love that picture of Graylin whilst he was doing time inside i think he was about 30 weeks at that scan Next to it, we just have this little frog picture. Obviously, if you followed the channel for a while, you know that my partner is into his dart frog. So obviously, I'm going to pass that hobby on to Graylin as he gets older. <laughs> Hence why we have a little frog picture. This here was from a shop in Corbridge. So it's a little drive from where we currently live. Um, I think the shop is called Religion. I could be completely wrong, but I will try and link it in the description box. And this one, I believe, is from Argos or Habitat, one of the two, which I will link down below as well. This rattan shelf is from b and I bought it recently for £6. It was discounted, so best be quick to see if they're still in stock. And obviously, this plant here is an Ikea find, very popular in Ikea. I absolutely love this. We've got a couple of these in the house, but I thought this shelf just needed something a little fancy and we just decided to put this little hanging plant there which i absolutely love and then if we move around i just have this tapestry print this too was from bnm it looked a little different to this when i first bought it um the wooden bit was just plain wood and then this bit was another i think it was more this color here but i decided to paint it gray just to fit in with some of the gray accessories in grayland's room and I painted this colourful just to tie in with a few pops of colour in his room. Down from this artwork is just this basket and this is kind of where I got the colours from. Got some red, yellow, this kind of tealy colour blue and this is where we just keep our blankets. Just all of his blankets. We don't really use his blankets much anymore but it was just a nice little basket to store them in and I have stored all of his blankets in this 
basket since Graylin was born really so yeah this here was from home base but I do actually think they sell it in B&M as well if you're lucky to find it in B&M it is identical to this one the same colours the same style and it's probably a lot cheaper than the one in home base so just keep your eye out for that but they do sell this in home base and I just think these colours are so cute and I have tried to mimic these colours elsewhere within Graylin's bedroom. From this corner we have Graylin's cupboard. So this cupboard just has the boiler in. There's not really a lot we can say about this cupboard. I have got his old trolley in there which I just keep some bits and bobs in like extra nappies, extra wipes. Just as a bit of a storage cupboard and then from the cupboard we have Graylin's teepee which I absolutely love. I think it really just finishes off this room so well. So this TP was a gift from my mum and dad for Christmas. Graylin received this at Christmas, but I've only just put it up now since we have his room done. I couldn't tell you where it's from, unfortunately, with it being a gift. I know my mum did have some bother trying to get a TP. The one that I specifically wanted, we had a bit of bother, but she found this one and I'm in love of it. It really fits with his room so well. Quite big, so I have had to kind of modify it ever so slightly just to make it fit in the room, but I love how it's turned out. And inside we just have some of Graylin's toys and teddies. The toys and the books are all just sitting on this kind of like four throw. I think I had this on one of the chairs in the kitchen during Christmas and I've just brought it upstairs so it's a bit of a nice little soft area for Graylin to sit in so he can read his books and play with his little teddies. I've got his frog teddies, his little broccoli, his dino from Ikea got this cute little a basket which fits so well in this room this basket here is from Primark inside the basket we've just got some more teddy frogs we've got a fiber optic light it, it just lights up as you would imagine so that'll sit on during the night whilst he's playing in here and I've just left some books out for him just got a peekaboo baby and sleep tight very hungry caterpillar this peekaboo baby book is from the scottish government baby box um you got a few books with the baby box and this one he quite enjoys so i just left it out from and then he has this toy as well this one used to flash it still does flash but uh, the batteries are running out so it's quite like annoying <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't even flash anymore it just makes that noise so we need to get some more batteries for it but he absolutely loves that toy when it works so yeah that's his little teepee area which i absolutely love i just think it's such a nice little addition to his room but yeah i'm happy with that so on from the teepee we have the window so the window's not quite finished yet we still need um the windowsill to be done my dad's gonna make up a windowsill which i just need to paint and install that sorry if you can hear Graylin in the background he's just having a bit of fun in his little cot in our bedroom anyway we need to put the windowsill in once that's been painted I've given the window a fresh lick of paint however we're not going to be keeping these windows permanently we will be getting new windows at some point that's why they look a little bit grotty right now but like when I say grotty I mean that I haven't quite been finished just yet but we will get there eventually and I would say the one thing I'm not 100% about this room are the curtains so these curtains are from Amazon I will link them below because they're not bad curtains but they're just not what I expected they were advertised as blackout curtains but they don't really block out any light <laughs> you still see a bit of light come through but Graylin's never been fussed about light coming through he's always slept in a room where there's light coming through somewhere so I'm not too bothered about them not being blackout but just bear that in mind if you're looking for blackout curtains these aren't the ones I got them because they were white obviously I like white accessories in a room and I think it just finishes off the room quite nicely we got this curtain rail from home base I get all the curtain rails from home base the matte black ones just to keep everything quite cohesive in the house and then we got these little tie backs not tie backs what are they hold backs <laughs> curtain hold backs from home base as well just similar in colour with the matte black and then on the windowsill is this little gift which again my mum and dad got grilling it's just this little woodland toy a little bits come off he has great fun with this and obviously the colours go really well with the panelling in his room so this just sits on the windowsill and he'll play with that when he's in the room if I'm doing some work or anything like that 
this looks like it's from a company called classic world again because my mum and dad got them as a present i'm not too sure which shop they bought them from but the brand is classic world so on this wall in this corner is kind of the reading nook corner we've got this chair from ikea i love this chair so much i really wanted a like fabric rocking chair just something quite cozy but with all the wooden accessories in the room like the rattan accessories i thought this rattan chair would go quite nicely in here and it really does it's quite comfy as well it's not, i mean it's not the comfiest chair don't get me wrong it is a wooden rattan chair but with the likes of the cushion and the floor on the top it does make it quite a cozy little rocking chair for such a common like neutral room i picked up this linen cover from ikea as well it's like an olive green color it's a bit crumpled but we move and then we've just got that for sheepskin rug as well again this is from ikea it's just the cheap one from ikea i will link everything down below because i don't do well with ikea names <laughs> I was quite fortunate with this chair because I did see this chair in Ikea in the display, like the showroom bit, and it was styled exactly like this. I was in two minds where to get it because the price was a little bit steep for what I wanted. However, when we got to the bargain bin at the checkout, this chair was sitting there in all its glory at a discounted price. So I think it was just a sign that I had to get this rocking chair for Graylin's room. So we took it with us. And yeah, I just, I think it's just such a nice little addition. To such a neutral common space so just above the chair in this corner are these two bookshelves they're obviously not bookshelves they're the ikea hacker every nursery tour seems to have every nursery has these ikea spice racks and they just put books or teddies in them and they just work very well as a little bookshelf for such small books so that's what we did here we just put two a bit off center from each other and filled them up with some of his favorite books and then just along from there, we have another IKEA spice rack, but we've turned it upside down again. Another hack, which a lot of nurseries seem to have an upside down spice rack where we can hang clothes and then use it as a shelf. So that's what we've done here. So we bought three spice racks and used two for a bookshelf and one as a hanging shelf. On top of the shelf, I just put this little succulent plant in this cute little llama like ceramic pot and this is from little it was a while ago so i don't think they'll have them in anymore but you know what little's like for restocking certain things throughout the year fun fact i did want a llama themed room for Graylin when i was trying to decide up a theme for his room but ultimately i chose a more neutral calm and space I don't know if you could hear, but I just had to get Grail in the bottle. He was starting to get a little bit fussy for his bottle, so just had to take a quick break. But this here is part of the set of three from Ikea. They're the small baskets, there's like this one fits into the middle one, the middle one fits into the big one. And as you can see, I've painted the bottom just to try and add a bit more colour into this room. And I've done the same on the two bigger ones. And like I said, they're just sitting on this spice rack, which everyone uses as like a hanging hack which we have hung up some of Graylin's t-shirts just hung up a couple this one was from River Island a gift from a friend and this was a gift from another friend I think this one was from Next so just have them hanging up he's actually probably close to growing out of those two so I will need to swap them up but I quite like how they look just there right now down here on top of the desk is this night light so this night light <laughs> again was from ikea but um it was in the bargain bin because it has a little scratch on the other side i don't know if you'll be able to see there is a scratch on that bit of the lamp and when the lights are on you can actually see it quite clearly but you can see it much more clearly now and obviously just doesn't look as great so it ended up going into the bargain bin because of that scratch and i think this light retails at about I think it's £10. It might be a bit more, but we got it for a pound. This light right here was a pound in the bargain bin. I mean, it's got a scratch on the front there as well, but you're not going to see that as much as you would on the other side. And then these are the other two baskets that I have with the little set. But like I said, I painted both the bottoms. I painted that one like a muted kind of rusty red. And then this one a bit of a teary colour. And then that one more of a mustard colour. And I just think it adds a nice little pop of colour to this area. Whilst not going overboard. 
I am trying to be a bit more proactive with using this type of stuff, especially the cotton swabs, just for like going around his ear, obviously not down his like ear canal, but around his ear, just getting all the wax away. That's why they're on this changing table rather than hiding in any drawers. And then just along on the table is Graylin's changing mat. I absolutely love this changing mat. It's so gorgeous. It's so crisp. It's so clean. It's just from Amazon. I will find the link and I will pop it into the description box below. It was about £20 for this, but it's obviously like a more deluxe looking changing mat. It's obviously a wedge one. It's washable and it's white. And then I like this idea of having a mirror just above his changing mat. A lot of nursery tours seem to do this. That's where I got my inspiration from, is have like the changing area with some kind of clothing option and a mirror for pictures with your baby and then changing mat all together in one little area. And I think it just works very well. So this one was from Home Base. It was discounted and I'm sure they were discounting it to stop selling it. So perhaps check your local home base to make sure they still have some in stock but yeah i just thought this goes very well with the neutral kind of accents in this bedroom and then obviously all of that sits above the set of drawers these are the Jimenez drawers forgive me if i'm pronouncing that wrong i always pronounce it Jimenez but i don't even know if that's the actual pronunciation but yeah these are the drawers that we went with Obviously from Ikea, you saw me put them up in the last video and I will go through each of the drawers for you all. So in this first drawer is kind of like a miscellaneous drawer. We've got a little tub. These tubs here are from b and They come in all different sizes. I will show you the other sizes when I get to them. But in this little tub, I've just kind of got his like white noise machine. I've got a spare charger for, for sitting in here. His little padded cushion bits for like straps. And then we also have some spare hangers. We've got his his next to me crib sheet, and I also keep his new cot sheets in here as well. And then I've just got a little pair of bunny ears from I think they were from Home Bargains, just for Easter with that coming up. So that's just going in there for now. In this next drawer, we have all of Graylin's muslins. So Graylin used to have hundreds of muslins. I'm probably over exaggerating there. He had loads of muslins though. And now I've just, like, I've had a colour of muslins and I just keep two of these boxes from B&M. Again, these are the bigger boxes. And I just keep about nine white muslins or nine, like, white-ish muslins. <laughs> I've got patterns on. And then in the back I keep about nine or twelve coloured muslins. And I've just had a huge colour of muslins because Graylin doesn't actually use them so much anymore. He's not as speary as he used to be, so I've narrowed it down to two boxes of muslins and to be quite honest he doesn't really use half of them anyway so I will probably have another colour at some point in which case this drawer will be used for something else. This drawer has Graylin's accessories in so again we've got these little storage boxes which I put everything in. This is the smaller one again. This is about half the size or three quarters of the size of that one there. At the back we have his socks which is a bit too small for at the moment, they're his bigger socks. This one are his Cullen socks which some of them actually are a bit small for now so I could get rid of them. I love these little ones, they're so cute. <laughs> this tub has his waterproof bibs in so I've had a huge cull of bibs because he doesn't really wear them anymore. Like I said he's not as spewy as he used to be but he is, you know, still spewy, so I will keep a few spare, but I've just narrowed it down to a few waterproof bibs. And then in this little box are his kind of, like, hats, accessories, gloves. He's got, like, a bucket hat, which I got this for when we went on holiday to Madeira. He was about four months old then, but this hat actually just fits him now, and he's ten months old. So we are finally getting used out of that since it is starting to get a little bit more sunny. He's got some little mittens. We usually have his winter hat in here as well. It's the Mickey Mouse one, which you may have seen him wear. If you've looked on Instagram, you'll have seen him in that hat. And then we've got another little summer bucket hat, little Simba. And then you've seen these glasses before. How cute are they? 50 pence from Primark at the time. I don't know if they still do them, but they might bring them back out for summer. And then I've just got one random odd sock, which I can't find the other one too, so it's just sitting there to remind me to look for it when I'm doing the next wash. 
And then in this one, we just have all of Graylin's changing bits. So we've got nappies, he's in size three nappies. We use the Loopy Loo and Mamiya nappies. We don't use anything other than those two nappies at the moment anyway. And wipes wise, we tend to go for Loopy Loo. Where are these ones from? Oh, Little didn't have any wipes last time we went, so we had to go to Sainsbury's to pick some up. We've got nappy sacks again, Loopy Loo, and this is from Asda Little Angels. I've had this since before he was born <laughs> um, and we're finally getting use out of it so yeah we've got a spare changing mat. This one was from the Scottish Baby Box as well and then we just have some cow bowl and some extra bits like a thermometer. All that good stuff gets kept in this drawer for when I am changing them on his changing mat. In the drawer below we have all of Graylin's current clothing so I don't think this is all of it because there is some clothes in the wash, I think, but it's quite a condensed amount for a baby. I know a lot of other babies have like hundreds and hundreds of clothing, but now that Graylin's in that kind of transition from six to nine months to nine to 12 months, we've kind of narrowed it down to some clothes that fit both age ranges. At the back here, we have all of Graylin's like jumpers, tops, it's that kind of thing, all those nice things. It doesn't look like a lot there, but I've tried my best to kind of tidy it down. These ones are kept in like the biggest of the boxes from b and &M. I can't pull one out to show you, <laughs> but it's like the ones I've previously shown, but just a bit bigger. And on this side, we have his trousers and shorts. So the trousers and shorts that he's currently wearing. I think there's a little romper in there as well, or a little dungaree set, something like that. But yeah, they just sit at the back. And then the ones at the front, these ones, these tubs, where were they from? I'm thinking either B&M or Home Bargains. They were kind of like a bluey colour, which I had downstairs in the living room. But now I'm uh, using them in his drawers. This side, <laughs> we've got quite a few more to put in here. But like I said, they're in the wash and um, yeah, we're running out of space. <laughs> but these are his like sleep suits, his pyjamas um, and other romper sets. So... They just get kept in this one and then in this side it's all of his vests and long sleeve vests which again these aren't all of them but um, yeah I'll try and figure out some space <laughs> for all the rest of his clothes. Underneath that one is a bit of a messy drawer, it's not messy but it's not really organised. Um, it's kind of his swim stuff, his bathing towels and his sleep sacks so this cute little dinosaur towel which we took on holiday is from Sainsbury's again one of those little boxes from b and M, and they just have his little trunks which is not yet worn but I think you get them in any kind of shop like Asda, Sainsbury's I think b and M and Home Bargain steal them too he's got a cute pair of swimming trunks which he's not worn yet and I think they're from H&M. I have just ordered them a little swimsuit from H&M because I have just booked, like, block booked a swimming class for him, which he will be doing after his baby class. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I've ordered him a swimsuit so that we can go swimming. And then this here is just a, like, swim changing mat. It's got, like, a rubber base so it doesn't slip. These here are his bathing towels, so they've all got like little hoods on. This one here is from The White Company. I got that as a gift from my colleagues before I went on maternity leave. And then I've got a couple of other ones underneath. Some of them are in the wash, so there's not a lot in here just yet. And then I've got a couple of sleep sacks, which he is still using at the moment. I'm not having him use blankets until at least 12 month old, maybe a little bit later. For now, he's quite happy sleeping in his sleep sacks. But now that it's getting warmer, I'll just have him sleeping in his sleep suit anyway. So they just get stored in this drawer. Moving along, we have all of Graylin's kind of bigger clothing. So anything which he doesn't fit just yet, but obviously needs somewhere to store them. Um, we've got like vests. I think these are all vests. These here are like trousers, joggers got like a little sweatsuit set there and then these are his t-shirts that are too big from just yet this is a little pajama set um I couldn't tell you where everything's from because well that one underneath 
was from Primark. <laughs> um, but a lot of these are gifts from people. The Hard Rock Cafe one was from a trip to Edinburgh for my birthday. So I picked up that when we went to Hard Rock Cafe. And then this section here is all of Crayon's Christmas stuff for this year. My friend Emma, who lives in Kuwait, she has a... Oh, he'll be... Grayland's 10 months, so he will be coming up nearly two years. Oh my god, <gasps> he's nearly two years old now. I cannot believe that. But Emma's son is practically a year older than Grayland, so he got wear out of all this for Christmas. And when Emma came back for Christmas, she brought all this along with her. And Grayland is going to be wearing them this Christmas. There's loads of Christmas outfits in there, and we shouldn't need to get any Christmas stuff for this year and then finally this drawer is kind of like a miscellaneous drawer so we have some cardigan knits which is too small for just yet these are knitted by family members we've got a couple of coats they're like winter coats but actually they could probably go in storage because by the time like autumn winter comes around these are going to be far too small for them so really they could go into storage but i'm quite happy them just sitting there for now they look nice and then we have some little gift boxes with bits and bobs in i'm not going to each box but this one is a jojo mum and baby box this one is a baby's little treasures so you put your little photograph of baby <laughs> and this one has all of Graylin's firsts like, like his little foot band when he was in a hospital it'll have like his first tooth that kind of thing it's got my like baby shower cards in that kind of thing so that's what that book is going to be used for this one is just got like little bits and bobs for baby which we don't really have any space for just yet this white box here is the white company box and this was what had the towel in that i showed you this is what i got from my colleagues before i went into maternity leave and this one just has more like bits for baby which i haven't got anywhere to really put them just now so yeah they just stay in there i think it's got a lot of cards in there as well from like when we first had grayland so it's kind of another memory box but just on a bigger scale and then up top of them we have some converse i cannot wait to put them in these they're a bit big from just yet oh how cute are they these are from my parents the little chucks love them love the color can't wait for it to be in them. So obviously for when he starts walking which is not quite there yet he is standing about but he's not walking so yeah can't wait to put them in them little chucks and then we have another pair of converse these ones are the classic white ones the classic white pencils aren't they just adorable these are from a friend and they're so cute so darren's got a pair of these already for himself i used to have a pair of these no actually i had a pair of the chucks but in this color um so i need to get a pair of these and then we can all go about in our white converse pencils so that's everything that we keep in these Jimenez drawers from ikea that is like literally everything that grill has other than spare nappies which we just keep in the cupboard but yeah, everything clothes wise, accessories wise, miscellaneous wise are in this set of drawers. And as you can see, we went with the set of eight. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I was tempted to get the smaller version, which comes up to about there. I just felt like it needed a big statement piece in this bedroom. And I think these drawers do that quite nicely. And then just down from the set of drawers, I have these two little baskets. All from Benham. This basket here just has all of his little comforters and a teddy. Most of these are like gifts from people when we were expecting. And then this little basket I just use for like his laundry. So I wanted a small basket because I didn't want to be waiting like a few days for his clothes to pile up. And then forgetting about some things at the bottom of the basket. I thought if I just use a little basket, then once it reaches the top of the the basket has been full then i know to take it downstairs to put into the wash so above that corner with the sookies and the laundry is this bunting which is absolutely stunning it's from habitat so i bought this from argos but it's the habitat range and it's just like a wooden bunting with some beaded details little 
mustard coloured beads. I just thought that was a very nice addition to his room. I just think it looks really like it just symbolises a kid's room does button doesn't it? So I thought that looked very nice and particularly in that corner where like this side of the room is quite minimal. I'll show you that in a second. And then this side of the room is quite, I wouldn't say cluttered, but there's a lot more going on here. So I just think that kind of ties it all together very nicely. And then on this side of the wall, featuring Braylon. Hello. Hello. Little boy's very fussy today. <laughs> but on this side of the wall is where Graylin's cot is. So if you've seen from my last video, I went with the Smiggler cot, which is very popular. It's just such a standard, like, classic looking cot. It's very Scandi vibes. I just think it works very well in the space. Obviously, I went for a neutral theme, quite a neutral theme, apart from the green walls. But very calming, lots of wood, lots of pine, lots of rattan. And I think this cot was just the perfect option for his space. So yeah, this is a popular Snigler cot. I'll just very quickly say that Graylin hasn't slept in here just yet. He's busy trying to fight off a cold and I don't want him sleeping in here until his cold is gone. So I can kind of just make sure that he's not going to be disrupted during the night. And I'm having to get out of the bedroom to tend to him. Um, so yeah, he's not been sleeping in here just yet. So when he does eventually sleep in this room, obviously all the stuff in his cot will be taken out when he goes to bed. An empty cot is obviously a safe cot. But when he gets older, this type of thing, he'll obviously be able to sleep in. But I chose it just for the colours. I love this mustardy kind of colour on the giraffe and the lion. And then the greys fit in nicely with the grey accessories in his room already. So yeah, I thought that was a very nice little addition. This was from TK Maxx. And then inside his cot are just these cute little cushions. So these two were from Glenelm. I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks like an A. It looks like a hat. It looks like a traffic cone. <laughs> I don't know exactly what it is, but the colours were nice, so I picked that up for his bedroom. This one is obviously a little bee, which is cute. It's kind of like a knitted bee. And then this one here is a gift from my mum. She has taken up sewn again and got this cute little frog print. And I think the colours just work really well in the space. So all three cushions together sit in the corner of his cot. But like I said, when he does eventually sleep in here, which hopefully should be in the next couple of days, all of this stuff will be removed from the cot. They're obviously just there for sure for now. And then above Graylin's cot are these two little hanging pieces. Both of these are from B&M. And I do think it works absolutely beautifully. It's very understated. And you'll probably remember that I said I don't particularly like stars and moon as kind of like a theme in the bedroom, but because it's this like macrame style, I thought it worked really well with the neutral kind of materials. I promise you I shop at other places other than B&M and Ikea, but obviously they just have a lot of things that work very well in his bedroom, hence why I picked them up. This obviously has like a rattan effect which works really well with the rest of the things in this room and then the shade itself is kind of like a linen kind of shade. Last thing I want to show you is this sign, so they're all individual letters. These are from Jojo Maman Baby and they are so cute. Obviously they're not really to my like colour palette. <laughs> I like things a bit more muted and neutral but they're cute nonetheless. They're just these little dinosaur letters. Obviously I picked all the letters for his name and they will get put on his front door. When we eventually get the door put back on, the door just needs a trim before we can put it back on. But yeah, I thought I would get these for Graylin when we visited the shop in Edinburgh and I just think it's such a cute little addition to his room. Yeah, I absolutely love this bedroom. It's my favorite room in the whole house. Every part of it. Where do you think you'd be room, baby boy? Dada. No, mama. Dada's not here. Dada. Dada. <laughs> I'm not taking dada as his first word. He is obviously just saying dada. It's all he can say, isn't it? Are you not going to go explore your bedroom, baby boy? Are you going to go explore dada. your bedroom? Yeah? Yes. 
Do you like a bedroom? Do you like it? <laughs> Who's that? Look. So there you have it that is Grayland's nursery all done there's just a couple of things that we need to finish such as the handle on the cupboard door and the windowsill which I discussed in the video just some points I want to clarify because I know I'll get asked some in the comments but his book collection he's got a huge book collection that isn't all that he's got in the corner of his bedroom I have got books in the cupboard just waiting to be like recycled into his little bookshelves but um yeah he has got a huge collection of books it's not just those few books we do do a lot of reading with them so don't worry about that and the baby monitor we do have one I've shown you in previous videos what monitor we currently have I would like to get a new one just as a bit more of an up-to-date monitor but I'm happy to keep it for now and we're going to put it on the panelling probably like towards this side of the cot a bit higher up so it can look down on him um, but it'll be attached with like screws so it'll be secure and unable to be pulled off by Graylin but it's not up there at the moment but I know I'll get asked about the baby monitor for when he's asleep in here and we're not in the room so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please remember to hit the subscribe button notification bell for future videos and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up it also really helps my channel if you like to comment on my videos I also like to engage with you all so if you do want to comment I will be sure to get back to you and it's always nice to just meet new people on my videos as well so yes please leave me a little comment and I will see you in our next video take care guys bye